Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day today. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own gorilla tag YouTube thumbnail. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is go to Google. Um, I'll also, I will link this in the description if you don't want to type it in. Go to photopia or photopia.com. Wow. And then it's going to bring you to this. Click new project, YouTube thumbnail, create. Um, now, the next thing is get your monkey photo make sure it's a uh, transparent or else you can't do it so what you want to do is to make your monkey look real cool go to image adjustments brightness turn that up however high you want i like to do like 40 just to make them look nice saturation go sorry image adjustments you and saturation oh if, if you want to change the monkey of the color of your monkey you can do it but it won't work on some color codes so yeah anyways let me bring that down to zero <clears throat> turn this bad boy up as you can see it looks much better but don't do it too high then it'll look like that so i'd do like 30. all right now it looks pretty cool but to make him look even better what you're gonna do you're gonna look up invisible image on google Go to images, click on this one, give it a second to load, right click, copy. It's just invisible, okay? So you're not going to see anything on it. Put it, put the layer above your monkey. After you do that, use the drawing tool and just like kind of like draw where, like an outline of your monkey. So I'll, I'll give you an example. So I'm just kind of going to, I'm just going to do the arms. So I'm just gonna draw on the arms like that, just like that. All right. And then after you drew something like that on your monkey, I would recommend like doing it around the arms. You wanna go to filter, blur, and god, god, see in. I I don't know how to say it. <laughs> then it's gonna look like this. So you can change it around. It's automatically gonna look like this. It'll look pretty bad. So mess around with it. Make it go down to like, I do like 11. Looks nice. And now, as you can see, it has like a shadow around him, which makes it look real nice, as you can see, so. Next up, you want a background. So if you don't know how to get a background, um, basically just take a photo of, you know, you and like a, a background where you want to get your photo in game. Take that photo and um put it in so i have a little photo of this like a lucy thing oh also if you can't figure out how to make your monkeys um background like disappear go to remove that bg and then take you know your monkey then put it in and then give it like three seconds and it will remove the background Let's put that above there so now I'm just going to make this background a little bit bigger. Um, it doesn't really look like he's actually standing like in the game. It just looks like he's above the ground. So we're going to give him a shadow. So, uh, sorry, <laughs> right click blending options, do drop shadow. And you could just make it go down, make that smaller, but make the spread big or no, not do that. Wait, now make the din distance big then make the yeah there we go oh, size change to the size i'm sorry i'm gonna just turn down spread and change the size of it so i did like there 26 now it looks more like natural like it actually looks like he's kind of standing there instead of just floating next up text just write something down like thumbnail i'm just gonna write this down for the tutorial all right, let's put that, and then it's gonna look like this. Um, but to make it look real nice, you wanna make take your monkey, put it above the text layer, and then that's gonna make your text look like that. You can make the text look cool. Right click, blending options, color overlay. We can make it like red, sure. And then you can give it like an outer glow, make it red. Um. Yeah, give a big outer glow, turn down that. And then let's just 
Oh yeah, make sure this, um, your invisible layer with the drawing is always above your monkey, or else it won't show up. So that's, that's it. Yeah, that's how to make your own gorilla tag thumbnail. Um, this will probably be the thumbnail of the video. And if you do need any help, just leave a comment and I will help you. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. I'm doing a big video. It's, it'll be coming soon. So yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.